Hello and welcome to my channel. In this video we are going to solve an example from mensuration. Now this question has 5 sub questions as well. So let us begin. The diagram shows a shape made from a major sector AOB and triangles OBC and AOD. OB is given as 6 cm, BC is given as 2 cm and obtuse angle AOC is 135 degree. Angle BCO is given as 90 degree. So the first question is to show that the angle BOC is 19.5 degree. Correct to one decimal place. So to find the angle BOC, let us start by considering the right angle triangle BOC. So let me draw here. So we have redrawn it over here. Now let us focus on the angle asked which is angle BOC. Now since this is a right angle triangle, the angle of concern is angle O. So the side opposite to angle O is BC. So this becomes the opposite side. And the side opposite to the 90 degree will be always the hypotenuse. Since we have here the opposite side and the hypotenuse, we can use the sine trigonometric ratio over here. Sine of angle BOC is equal to opposite side over hypotenuse. So we have found out the opposite side as 2 cm and the hypotenuse as 6. So let us take sine on the other side of the equal to sine. So we get sine inverse or arc sine of 2 over 6. So let us put in the calculator and check its value. So we get the value of sine inverse of 2 over 6 as 19.47 or rounding it off to one decimal place we'll get it as 19.5 degree. So we have got the angle. Now let us move on to the next sub question. Calculate the area of the major sector AOB. So this is the sector they are talking about which is a major sector. Now to find that out we need the central angle or in this case the reflex angle AOB. So in part 1 of this question we had found the value of angle BOC which was 19.5 degree. So to find the reflex angle AOB we need to subtract 135 and 19.5 from 360 degree because this is the angle at a point O. So here we get the value of reflex angle AOB as 205.5 degree. Now once we have got this we have a formula to find out the area of the sector which is theta over 360 degree times pi r square where theta represents the central angle of the sector. In this case it is 205.5 degree and r is the radius of the sector which is OB in this case that is 6 cm. So let us substitute the values here. So 205.5 degree divided by 360 degree times pi times radius square which is 6 square. So let us check out in the calculator how much value we get here. So we get the value as 64.559 or rounding it to one decimal place we can write it as 64.6 cm square. So this is the area of the sector AOB. Let us move on to the third sub question. C is the midpoint of OD. Calculate the length of AD. So C is given as the midpoint of OD. So let us begin by finding the length of OC by using the right angle triangle BOC first. So here we have redrawn the same right angle triangle. OB is 6 cm and BC is 2 cm and here we need to find out the length of OC. So by using the Pythagoras theorem we can write hypotenuse square that is OB square is equal to sum of the square of the rest two sides that is BC square plus OC square. Since we have to find out the length of OC we take that as the subject and transferring BC square on the other side of the equal to sign we get OC square is equal to OB square minus BC square. Now shifting the square on the other side of the equal to sign we get OC is equal to square root of OB square minus BC square. So let us substitute the values of OB and BC. So we have here square root of 6 square minus 2 square and this gives us a value of 5.6568. I am rounding it to 3 decimal places. Since this is an intermediate step take at least 3 or 4 decimal places. So let me write here 5.657 that is rounding to three decimal places. Now we know that C is the midpoint of OD and since we got the length of OC we can double it to get the length of complete OD. So we can write here OD is equal to 2 times OC and since we got the value of OC as 5.657 and that will give us a value of 11.314. Now once we have got the value of OD let us find out what is the length of AD by considering the triangle AOD. So here OA represents 6 cm OD we got the value just now and we need to find AD. So here I have redrawn the same triangle AOD that is OA is 6 cm that is the radius of the circle and OD that is 11.314. Now 
Now to find the length of AD, we are going to make use of the cosine rule, which is AD square, that is the length which we need to find, is equal to sum of square of the rest two sides, which is OA square plus OD square, minus 2 times OA times OD, times cos of the angle opposite to the side AD, which is angle AOD in this case. Now let us substitute the respective values of the sides and angles here. So 6 square plus 11.314 square minus 2 times 6 times 11.314 times cos of angle AOD which is 135 degree. Now this is equal to AD square but we need to find out the value of AD. Shifting the square on the other side of the equal to sign we get square root of the values we got here. So this will give us a value of 16.1247. So rounding it off to again one decimal place, we can write AD as 16.1 centimeter. So this is the length of AD. Now let us move on to the fourth sub question. Calculate the total area of the shape. Now this shape is made up of a sector AOB and a right angle triangle BOC and a triangle AOD. So we can write the total area as area of sector AOB plus area of the triangle BOC plus area of the triangle AOD. Now area of the sector AOB we had found in the second sub question. So we can write area of the sector AOB is 64.6 cm square as we had got in the second sub question. Now let us focus on the right angle triangle BOC. Now the formula for the area of right angle triangle BOC is given as half times base times height and this is the right angle triangle. The length of OB and BC was already given and the base OC we found it as 5.657. So here the base we take it as OC and the height as BC. So let us substitute the values in this formula. So here 1 over 2 times base which is 5.657 times the height is 2. Now the 2 from the denominator and 2 from the numerator cancels. So we get the value as 5.657 centimeter square. Now we have the area of the sector with us and area of the right angle triangle BOC. So let us now focus on the area of the triangle AOD. The formula of area of triangle AOD is 1 over 2 times OA times OD times sine of angle AOD. Since this is not a right angle triangle, we are going to make use of the sine formula to find the area of triangle AOD. So let us substitute the respective values here. So we have here 1 over 2 times OA is 6 cm, OD is 11.314 and sine of AOD that is sine of 135 degree. So let us see what value we get here. So we get the value as 24.00. So we will round it to one decimal place. So we can write area of triangle AOD as 24 centimeter square. Now to find out the total area we are going to add all these areas. So let me write here. So 64.6 plus 5.657 plus 24 that gives us a value of 94.257. So I'm going to round it to again one decimal place. So we can write total area of the shape as 94.3 centimeters square. Now let us move on to the last sub question. A sector of a circle has a radius 8 centimeter and area 160 centimeters square. A mathematically similar sector has radius 20 centimeter. Calculate the area of the larger sector. So let us understand this question by drawing a rough figure first. Now here you can see that two sectors are drawn. One is a bigger sector AOB with radius 20 cm as given and there is another sector which is very similar to AOB with a radius of 8 cm and the area of this smaller sector is given as 160 cm square. Now we have to find out what is the area of this larger sector. Since these two shapes are said to be similar, we have the relationship between the area and the radius as area of the larger sector which is AOB over the area of the smaller sector POQ is equal to the square of the radius of the sector AOB which is OA over the square of the radius of the sector POQ that is OP. Now remember this is the relationship between the area and the radius of a given sector or a circle if similar shapes are given. Now let us substitute the respective values. So area of sector AOB which we need to find over area of sector POQ is 160 is equal to radius OA is 20 cm, so 20 square over radius OP, that is 8 square. Now let us cross multiply, that is let us take 160 on the other side of the equal to sign. So we have area of sector AOB equal to 20 square is 400 times 160 over 8 square is 64. 
So this will give us a value of 1000. So the area of the larger sector is 1000 centimeters square. I hope you have understood all the steps and liked the video. So if you found this video interesting then click on this playlist where you will find more videos on mensuration. And if you are liking my videos like share and subscribe to my channel and thank you for watching.